Feast of San Gennaro. Every child here has seen a relative murdered in a barber chair. Step right up. Teach an old Italian lady how to use an iPad. Look what I got for you. What is it? It's a tablet computer. I don't want... You can watch movies on it. My eyes hurt. I'm trying to do something nice here. For the last time, I don't want it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Joey was a good boy. You thought he was making a hundred grand a year hauling lumber? Don't you start with this. He was dirty, ma. I can't hear this. I won't hear it. No. It's an iPad, you dumb cow. Oh, I guess I don't have any sons now. Step right up. Everybody take a chance on a whack a big a pussy. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, tone. This is not what I thought it was! We need to talk about what happened at the street fair. Lois, it's an Italian festival. You're supposed to yell, Bella, Bella, and grab as much fat ass as you can. We have to deal with his anger issues before he hurts himself. Yeah, that's good thinking, Lois. I've seen what happens when people hold in their aggression for too long. Okay, Chris, your mom and I want to help you get out some of that aggression, so I thought you and me could huck rotten apples at passing cars. Hey, which one of you threw that apple at my car? He did it. He dragged me out here. I wanted to be in school, sir. No wood shop. Ah, that was my second guess. Tell me, son, how would you like to pitch for the high school team? Baseball's the sport people play while eating, right? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I even watch a whole blacklist. Well, I don't know. I've never played baseball before. Steer right! One! Steer right! Three! Holy crap, a hundred bucks! Hey, nice going, Chris! Guys, tonight the drinks are on me. I just won a hundred bucks off Chris's baseball game. No, I bet there are plenty of other baseball dads who'd also assume Chris stinks. Peter, we could make a lot of money. Yeah, we could make Tony Braxton money. <laughs> wow, look at this, guys. I can't believe we made all this in one game. <sighs> well, it's official. Nobody wants to bet against Chris now. Damn it, I can't believe my kid isn't making money for us anymore. I feel like Jessica Simpson's dead. What you doing? My Spanish homework. Baseball, pero ahora quiero que pierdas intencionalmente el gran juego. Bueno, yo estoy feliz que esté teniendo un interés en mis actividades. Y ha sido muy divertido para que... Chris, what the hell are you doing? Calm down. This is how they package Snapple now. They're trying to trick kids into drinking it. Dad told me I have to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? Peter, get in here right now. Did you tell Chris he had to lose the district championship? Let me just get a garbage bag. Hold on. Ball team? Technically against Chris's baseball team. Are you crazy? Do I look crazy? What do you think puts the food on our table and the garbage bags on our backs? You try your very best and play to win. You understand me? Yeah. Thanks, Mom. What do you mean Chris won't take a dive? We already took a ton of bets. Look, I'm sorry, you guys, but my hot piece of ass wife says no way. That's a weird time to brag about your wife, Peter. I don't know. I've just been so horny. Chris takes the mound with that awesome arm of his. Wait, so what you're saying is Chris isn't the problem. His arm is. Yeah, I guess. Okay, there's the baseball team's locker room right there. Perfect. And we look like regular high school students, so we'll fit right in. Oh, are you sure about these clothes? Trust me. I bought the absolute latest issue of Archie Comics, and this is what the kids are wearing. No! Oh, yeah! Dad, my arm's broke, and look, a Camaro! Oh, that guy must be so boss. But listen, Chris, I had no idea this was gonna happen. Look, I was wrong to bet on your games. In so many places, and hurt so much. Well, for the last few weeks, since my right arm's been exhausted from pitching, my left arm's had to, uh, pick up the slack in the bathroom. Ah, son of a bitch! Oh, my God! Sorry, Mr. Quagmire! Well, Chris, we are very proud of you for making it to the district championship. Thanks, Mom. Got crushed. But at least I didn't have to pay out all those bets and kiss a guy. But I saw you kissing the driver, that Camaro. That, that, that was something else. Baseball! What do we want? Fair wages! When do we want it? Original!
scheduling now, but it's been delayed until 9.40 due to weather in Philly. See, this is a real uniform. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, yeah? Hey. No. I wasn't sure. I'm sure. Okay. Well, gotta go. Gotta do some more picketing. Seriously? It's like 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, uh, well, it's, uh, Cleveland stealing shot glasses. <laughs> Ladies, this is your pilot speaking. I am in the full, upright, and locked position. Oh my God, what are you guys doing here? Crap, my disguises didn't work. I've been out of work for three weeks. I'm out of money. I, I had to do something. God, I'm so embarrassed. Why? Stripping is a very respectable profession. If it weren't respectable, why would real estate agents go to strip clubs for lunch? That is offensive. I am a dancer, not a gigolo. Captain Cockpit, my friend is about to get married, and we were wondering if you'd have sex with her for $500. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Uh, are you going to say, who else but Quagmire? <clears throat> uh, no, I, uh, uh, wanted to know if Quagmire was available tomorrow evening. Hey, sorry I'm late, guys. I had to stop at the dry clean. Is that a giggity? That is a giggity. Hey, Quagmire, I couldn't help but notice you got some dry cleaning hanging up in the back seat of your car. Did you win the lottery? Uh, uh no, 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 it's, uh, it's something else. Uh, uh, Quagmire's, uh, selling online internet cyber stuff. Ah, uh, geez, I gotta go home and change into my Tarzan costume. Uh, uh, for, for, for the web. Thanks for the ride. One of my tricks drove me here from the clam, and I didn't have any money for a cab. Why not? Didn't she just pay you for sex? No. After it was over, she said she wasn't going to pay. Well, that ain't fair. You know, if you're going back in anyway, can you grab my belt? It's reversible, so I'd hate to lose it. Peter, this is amazing. Thank you. Hey, you know what? Here's a little something for your trouble. You're giving me a cut? Wow, thanks. No problem. It's just too bad you're not here every time. Well, I could be. I mean, my days are pretty open, and I don't sleep a lot at night because of health stuff. Huh. Sunday morning ever, and Sunday pass on by, I'll die. Damn if you get a rip. Boy, I have a whole new respect for Hayden Panettiere. Work, I set up five appointments. That's a lot of money. Sorry, I can't do it. You're just going to have to cancel them. What the hell did you say to me? Hemp cup. Uh, it's actually a wheatgrass ginger mixture. I was in the middle of a cleanse. I didn't know we'd be doing this pimp thing, but I made a promise to my body. Oh, Cleveland, these are my work clothes. You hosting Family Feud? No, I'm a pimp. Um, Big Pete, if we're gonna be sitting, may I use my penis donut? Bitch, I don't care. Nobody's gonna want you if you're fat. You wanna eat? Get up to that bar and earn your keep. Hi there. You wanna party? And can I have some of your bread? Hi, handsome. You can't have my bread, but you can have something of mine that smells like bread. Just so you know, it takes me a long time. Work nights, weekends. I hear on SNL the women are funnier than the guys now, but I don't know. I'll never see it. You know, some people ask me, would you want your son to be a hooker? My answer is always, hey, lady, are we talking or am I beefing you? Hey, honey, you shopping for groceries? Just get in it, but don't smell like it's Hey, baby, you want a party? Get in. Big Pete, help! She wants to do German things! German things! What? Nine! Nine! Yeah, she's got us both! Help us, pimps and hoes! Help us, HBO camera crew! I guess I just got caught up in the money and... And assumed you were okay with it because of the sex. I don't know, Peter. I think you're just mad I didn't come to see your Pretenders cover band. Still, I'm really sorry. I'd like that. Hopefully the pilot strike will end soon and I can get my old job back. Are you still GlennQ10 at AOL.com? No. Ah, well, there you go. Stewie? Oh, hello, Brian. I'm here to apologize and to let you know I quit the band. You did? Yes. It's nothing without you. You were the band. Those were your songs.